this is well the surface grinder completely modeled in Fusion 360 minus these pockets here of course I ended up not milling those that was that was an idea I had uh, but yeah doing it this way was very advantageous okay because I wanted to make sure that when that this chuck was directly beneath this contact wheel so basically what I did was I came into the house with the contact wheel just brought it in here and I modeled it in Fusion 360 took as good of measurements as I could and made my own model of the wheel okay and then I just basically <laughs> I designed it on the fly like what do I want how is this going to work and I just designed it in pieces okay so this next part you see here uh, I knew I needed this arm I knew I was going to need this drop bracket and it needed to be long enough so I had enough room to actually put parts on the chuck okay I knew I was going to need this this adjustment table okay and this this is how I did it basically I brought it all into here and then did all of my toolpath thing here in Fusion 360 and milled most of it except for uh, this this table here I bought that off of eBay this adjustment table I actually went onto eBay and using their pictures and their diagrams I drew my own chuck or drew my own uh, x-axis platform that's what I've labeled it here and it worked out perfectly their their pictures were, were were right on right on the money I didn't actually know that this x-axis platform even existed um, nor had I sourced this guide rail until I had watched a really good YouTube video for a long time I was sitting on the fence about building one of these surface grinders until I watched a YouTube video by Tyrell Knifeworks and I'll put the link in the description and the way he laid it out made a lot of sense to me it wasn't exactly like this build but what what it did do is it let it sourced some of these parts for me like this I bought on e eBay and this guide rail he had a link for that where he bought it and uh yeah again Tyrell Knifeworks that YouTube channel was a it was a great video and I've watched a few of of his other videos so I definitely recommend that you give his you probably already watch his channel but check out his channel it's pretty cool so again Fusion 360 is really great for projects like this because I was able to model the entire thing once again in Fusion 360 and then do all of my machining on my Sile X7 now I had several uh, operations f for this magnetic chuck because you know I, I have a very small working envelope my working envelope is more like 12 inches uh, by 12 inches not 18 inches long so I did a couple uh, different setups you know I, I, I had a WCS front and left here did half of it flipped it and then did the then did the other half and that worked perfectly and it was right on the money and a lot quicker I used a, a contour toolpath since this was full width of the cutter and I don't have flood coolant I actually rigged up a cool mist a homemade cool mist uh, system to run this but because I didn't have uh, flood coolant I tried to keep it as simple as possible so running full width of cut at half a millimeter depth of cut I just tore through this uh, magnetic chuck and it made quick work and that was followed up with a contour contour tool path to clean up the sides to get to my final width of cut so that I could put in these permanent magnets these other parts were much the same uh, the rest of the parts were mostly just uh, spot drill and tap maybe some counter bore in there to to allow for some hardware like on this support arm for example 
that was a through I drilled all the way through and then counterboard for M8 bolts. Probably my most aggressive uh, milling of aluminum was I pocketed some recesses in here. The end mill that I was using, the three flute, three eighths end mill, it only had a, a reach of one inch. So just to take some weight out of this chuck, it's, you know, it's a big chunk of aluminum, two by two by 18.